some interviews are terrible as they're done by inexperienced interviewers. Jim Pettiburn here at PRA USA. Let me teach you how to identify a bad interview and turn it around. Check out this short video right here first, then see our other one on taking charge of an interview to turn that bad situation into an offer. Identify that bad interviewer and then do it right. For over 30 years now, we have been coaching candidates through the interview process. And let me tell you, sometimes when you get interviewed by an untrained interviewer, the process can very easily go awry. We've lived it in the trenches. So believe me when I tell you whether it's a simple phone screen or a full-blown two-day on-site interview with lots of people, there are many nuances to each unique interview. Since there are too many facets to describe all of these scenarios in this one single video, make sure that you subscribe so that you can locate the video that is for your specific situation, whether it's career advice or interview advice. Now let's start on today's topic, how to help them interview you. Let's face it, here at PRA, we interview every single day and have been doing so for over 30 years. However, most people that interview a prospective employee rarely, if ever, interview candidates, let alone have the specialized training that it takes to do a really good interview on, with good interview techniques, including how to customize them to a specific candidate or a specific role. Too often, great matching candidates are not hired because of this. They end up walking out of the interview, scratching their head, and they say, what the heck just happened? Like, that was crazy. I can't believe that that was an interview. As this is such a common occurrence, let us help you help them. Here are some easy ways to identify that it's time for you to jump in. Here are a couple of dead giveaways for you to recognize that you need to take control of the interview. Let me explain. Okay, let's say after all the small talk, you get a question something like, so I see you worked at the ABC company. Tell me about what you did there. Well, first of all, since you had a very detailed explanation about your responsibilities at ABC Company, you're totally put off guard. They should have read that on your resume. What they really should have said, if they are trained and they know what they're doing, is something more like this. So when you worked on that special project at ABC Company, what kind of interactions did you have with other departments and vendors? How did you handle conflicts and what were your successes? Now that is a good behavioral question. It's gonna be digging deeper into your resume. Time for you to start your audition and get the job offer. Another example is while they're sitting there looking at your resume, right? They do something like this. So tell me about your career. Again, that is too simple of a question. They obviously have little experience or training. It should be more like, I see that you've had a lot of experience throughout your career with widgets. How do you think that that qualifies you, your widget experience, for this particular job? And tell me, what would be the first thing that you would do if I hired you? Now that is a serious question that goes beyond the resume. Time to buckle up and have a serious conversation. There are many more indicators out there that tell you that they need help from you. But I think you get the idea here. Now, to go even deeper into the process of having a great interview performance, check out our other video on how to take control of your interview. This is where you are actually running the interview or helping them run the interview, and it will surely wow the interviewer and get you the job offer. Check it out. Make sure to subscribe for more tips on interviewing as well as long-term career success, along with current issues of the day that we're always tackling for people. Share this and forward it to your colleagues. They may need it. We hope to see you next time.